G'day, Matt, we're Australian Off-Road. Welcome back to another video. I've got the bonnet popped here behind me because I wanted to talk about something that I threw on the car. You've probably figured it out maybe by the thumbnail, maybe not. Uh, something I threw on the car uh, just before summer. I threw a UFI, United Fuel Injection, one of their big viscous fans onto old mate Gus here. Was having pretty reasonable, I would say, issues with cooling. This is going to sound hilarious too, the, you know, the whole kettle argument and, um, yeah. I'm not doing us patrol drivers any favours with what I'm about to say, I know. Very, very much spying into the stereotype. <laughs> yeah, I was having some issues with some cooling. Not to the extent where it was boiling over and I had coolant pissing everywhere and steam going from every orifice. It was just getting a little bit hot. <laughs> Windows down, this is aircon off. It could hit 90 degrees, 95. Once it hits 95, it, it hit 100 pretty quick, 100 degrees pretty quick. The second that I would back it off, slow it down, or get off the hill, obviously, and start getting on flat or on a bit of a uh, bit of a descent, cool down instantly. Put the aircon on, and yeah, it'd be it'd be a case of having to turn the aircon off because it would just it just couldn't stay cool enough for, for me to be comfortable anyway. Get quite hot quite quick. Put up with this for quite a while. It was actually my mate Graham message. He said. Um, that he'd been talking to a mechanic mate of his while he was over east uh, and that, that fella had said all the, all the conversation had come up about bigger fans and this fella, this mechanic mate was saying that it's a, a massive a massive reduction in water temperature by having one of these big fans on at that point in time I hadn't really looked into it I hadn't thought much about it the car had just been to a mechanic as well um, and they checked over the stock fan that was on it. They said it was fine, the viscous hub was working all right. It didn't really give me any sort of overwhelming feeling that I needed to do anything about it, so I didn't. I kind of just forgot about it. And anyhow, it got to the point where I was like, no, I'm done with this. There's got to be a better, there's got to be something better. This can't be how it, how it should be. Especially after I'd had this conversation with Graham. I'd heard about the UFI one, so I wanted to try and get specifically the UFI one. I did a little bit of looking online. I found that the UFI online site didn't have a listing for the fan. But what I did find was a patrol part listing. But I did think, well, I don't want to buy it from there, which is over east, when I know the shop is here in Western Australia. So I figured if I can try and get it here, in WA that, that that's what I would do so so I just ended up calling UFI directly and asked what that was all about and they said yeah no that's fine we don't actually sell them online you do get them through patrol part um, so he said that you can do that or we've got them here in store in stock and you can drive in and grab one so I said yeah done I'll I'll do that I'll see the Sabi uh, so I raced up there just on Great Eastern Highway uh, in Belmont around Belmont, um, raced up there, picked it up, 400 bucks, pretty simple. I had a trip, I think that was, from memory that was a Friday because I had a trip coming up that next day on the Saturday or the Sunday, I can't remember, but I raced up, grabbed it, came straight home and basically ripped into it that afternoon. And it was quite an easy install. I didn't film any of it. I didn't even get any footage of the fan or pictures or anything. I just got home and just, and just bung it in. I didn't plan on doing a, a video um, but now after it being in the car I feel like because it's worked so well I really do want to um, talk about it and share my insight on it because it like you hear that term game changer it really is it has been a game changer for for this thing it's one of those little uh, mods that you wouldn't consider and I don't think many people would consider too much about it but th that's why I want to do this video because it's like if you're having just, just minor little issues like I've been having with mine. Seriously consider this fan because it has has absolutely, completely changed the behaviour of the car, how I can drive it and being comfortable in it. Another thing that you need to be aware of is they don't fit 
vehicles with aftermarket, big aftermarket radiators. They're only going to fit the TD42 factory radiator. So keep that in mind. After being out in it now all these months through summer, using it with aircon on, having it loaded up, seeing the difference in behaviour with driving it the same way I would when it would when it would get warm compared to how it is now. For the most part, I reckon it's, it's dropped the degrees, the, the water temp degrees, probably around 10, 10 degrees I reckon it's come down by, generally speaking. So, um, with the aircon off, I can be driving um, 100 k's, which is about what I sit on usually on the highway, 95 to 100. I don't usually go over 100. Aircon off, it'll sit around 80 degrees all day long. Sometimes even, if I've got a bit of a headwind, it'll, it'll sit around 70 degrees, which is pretty good considering the last fan that I had at 100 k's with the aircon off in those kinds of conditions at that speed, I'd be sitting at at least, at least 90, 87 to 90 degrees. So, and then with the aircon on, I put the aircon on, with the old fan when I put the aircon on, I couldn't do 100, I could barely do 90. Uh, and the temp would hit 90 and it would just kind of keep going up and all, uh, at some point, at some, in some situations, it would even sort of hit 100 and just keep going. And you know, by 100, 100 degrees, I've got to turn the aircon off, windows are back down, slot right back down, try and get the revs up, the air back through it. So generally speaking, like I say, it's dropped at about 10 degrees, so now, Let's say, in the most extreme condition, a really hot day. Not much of a headwind, quite a calm, dead, hot day. It'll be sitting on around 90. It'll hover around 88 to 90 degrees with the aircon on. Doing about 195 to 100 k's. Which is, like I said, about the exact speed that I like to do. So, yeah, I'm finding that it's done, it's done about, a, in general, generally speaking, aircon on and aircon off dropped at about 10 degrees which not like on wrap that means now that we can it's, a, it's I think it's quite a it'll be at least 33 or so by now mid 30 degree day uh, and I'm, I can do a hundred air cons on we're cruising comfortably this is a hundred K stretch as well so I'm doing bang on the speed limit sitting just under 90 degrees it's about at the moment it's on 87 degrees so I'm pretty wrapped with that yeah, it's been quite insightful and I'm, oh, I'm absolutely wrapped. I'm stoked. It really is one of those game changer, game changer uh, mods, if you will. Alright folks, I hope that was useful and I'll see you again on the next one. Thanks very much for watching. Take care out there. Hooray.